This video that you're seeing today is being shot on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And today I wanna to show you how to convert your Apple log footage to look exactly like what you're seeing now. Okay, so before we get started, I do wanna say that you guys should subscribe if you're interested in iPhone content, because I'm gonna be doing a bunch of videos leading up to actually shooting a full music video on the iPhone 15 Pro Max in Apple Log. I wanna walk through all those things so that along the journey, if you guys are following, at the end, you can also shoot your own short film, your own music video with your iPhone 15 Pro Max as well. So now let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and talk about color grading. All right, so jumping into DaVinci Resolve, you first wanna go over to the gear icon and you wanna to go to color management. So what we're gonna to do today is actually set up our color management under DaVinci YRGB. Now typically this is not a color space that I work within. I typically work within DaVinci YRGB color managed and that's what I recommend for most people. But for today's tutorial, I've liked the results that I've gotten under this one. Next, we're gonna make sure that this says Rec 709 scene and then on our output color space, we want that to be Rec 709 2.4. So, Going back out, you wanna make sure that your footage is in. We're just gonna throw that on our timeline and this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see some flat log footage. So, so going over to the color page, you wanna make sure that you can see all of your tools over here to the side, which you can toggle on right here. And you wanna make sure that you can see your scopes over here. That's gonna let us know everything we need to do with our video. So over here, you also wanna make sure you have your nodes open and you wanna have effects turned on. So first what we're gonna do is create another node. So we're gonna hit option S and on this new node, node number two, we're gonna go over to our effects and we're gonna do color space transform. Now all we're gonna do is go over to input gamma and select Apple log. Now you're seeing we're already getting something, but obviously it doesn't look the best. So now we're gonna go over to output gamma and we're gonna select the same thing that we set our timeline to. So that is gamma 2.4. And now this is what we get. Okay, so for my video today, you can see that I underexposed, which I did not actually mean to do, but it's actually a good thing for this tutorial because you guys will be able to see how much you can actually manipulate this new iPhone footage before it falls apart. So what I'm gonna do is now just make basic adjustments because we've already converted our footage over to something that's viewable, something that's not flat or log. Um, so we're gonna go over to our curves and I'm actually just gonna crank those curves up. And again, really I'm looking at the graph here, making sure that I'm not clipping anywhere and I want this to be a nice consistent curve here so about something like that now i'm just going to go over here to my primaries and lift up those shadows a bit pull down the highlights add in some saturation add in a little bit of color boost and then maybe i'll just do a little bit of sharpness this is already a pretty sharp image but i'm going to do 15 on the sharpness and there we go. Honestly, it's that easy. Look how good this image looks. Now people ask me all the time, what camera should I get? And so if you're someone trying to buy a camera under a thousand dollars, I would just say save your money and just go upgrade your phone and get the new iPhone 15 Pro Max because guys, there's no difference between this footage and something like the Sony VV-E10. I mean, honestly, this footage may even look better because you don't have to worry about all the different camera things. You can just worry about getting the right gear for your smartphone. And honestly, most of the time, you're gonna be saving money because everyone has a smartphone. So I would definitely consider something like this if you're in the market for a camera right now. With that being said, again, get subscribed because I'm gonna be doing a ton of iPhone content this week over the iPhone 15 Pro Max and all the gear and accessories. So get subscribed and until next time, check out this video right over here.